Welcome back, fellow travelers. Today, we're diving into the heart of Chile's bustling capital city, Santiago. From stunning mountain views to vibrant cultural experiences. Join us as we uncover the top 10 best things to do in Santiago, Chile. Whether you're a foodie, history buff, or nature lover, this city has it all. So grab your camera, pack your sense of adventure, and let's explore the hidden gems of Santiago together. Number 10, go skiing at El Colorado. If you want to escape the city and glide down soft, powdery slopes, El Colorado in the Andes is a top choice near Santiago. Located about an hour and a half northeast of the city, this ski resort features over a hundred trails suitable for all skill levels. Nestled on the prominent hill of the same name, the ski center has been a favorite since it was established in the 1940s with generations enjoying its breathtaking views and runs. Some of its pistes reach up to 3,333 meters in altitude, and the resort offers a vertical drop of 900 meters. After a day of skiing or snowboarding, you can stay in its cozy lodges or condos and dine at excellent restaurants with stunning views of the Andes. Number 9. Cerro San Cristobal For the best views of Santiago, head to the top of Cerro San Cristobal on the city's north side. Famous for its stunning panoramas, this large hill also hosts the Chilean National Zoo, a Japanese friendship garden, and more. Soaring above the popular Barrio Bella Vista below, the hill rises to 880 meters, with funiculars and cable cars transporting visitors to the summit. In addition to the awe-inspiring views of the Andes, you can photograph the striking statue of the Virgin Mary and visit the nearby small sanctuary. Number 8. Plaza de Armas The Plaza de Armas, the heart and soul of town life, is surrounded by many of its most significant buildings and adorned with impressive monuments. This shady square buzzes with energy at all times of the day, attracting both locals and tourists, street performers, walking tour groups, and curious onlookers. Remarkably, the palm tree-studded plaza has been the center of Santiago since its founding in 1541. The magnificent Santiago Metropolitan Cathedral dominates one side, while stately buildings like the Central Post Office and Royal Courthouse overlook the plaza. Among its many landmarks are the stunning Freedom of Latin America sculpture and the Indigenous Peoples Monument. Visitors can enjoy the lively atmosphere, capture photos of its beautiful architecture, watch heated games of chess, or visit the National History Museum. Number 7. Sky Costanera the Sky Costanera dominates Santiago's skyline and is visible from almost anywhere in the city. Standing at 64 stories, it is the tallest skyscraper in Latin America and has the highest occupied floor in the Southern Hemisphere. Rising to 300 meters, 984 feet, and featuring six basements, it is officially named Costanera Center Torre II and is part of a complex that includes the largest shopping mall in South America. Approximately a quarter million people visit daily. The upper floors house an observation deck offering 360-degree views of Santiago. Number 6. Cerro Santa Lucia Just a short walk southeast of the square, lies another of the capital's must-see attractions, the scenic Cerro Santa Lucia. From the top of this charming little hill and its leafy park, you can enjoy sweeping views of the city and the distant snowy mountains. 
The 629-meter-high hill, actually a remnant of an ancient volcano, is believed to have formed around 15 million years ago. Initially used by missionaries as a place of worship, it later housed two forts and was where Pedro de Valdivia declared the founding of Santiago in 1541. Today, ornate stone stairways lined with fine fountains and terraces wind up the steep hill to the breathtaking viewpoint at the top. Besides a statue of the famous conquistador and first royal governor of Chile, there is an attractive old hermitage and the refined Neptune fountain to explore. Number 5. Mercado Central While the Mercado Central offers various foods, seafood is the main attraction. Here, you'll find a wide array of seafood fresh from Chile's extensive coastline. Fish, oysters, mussels, scallops, clams, and much more. If you prefer eating seafood over shopping for it, the market has plenty of restaurants. Mercado Central, a Santiago landmark since 1872, is housed in a sprawling building accented by wrought iron, including the roof. You can find Mercado Central near Plaza de Armas in central Santiago. Number 4. Santiago Metropolitan Cathedral While earlier cathedrals in Santiago were destroyed by earthquakes, the Santiago Metropolitan Cathedral has stood on Plaza de Armas for over 260 years. Construction began in 1748, and the cathedral has dominated the square ever since. This stone neoclassical cathedral is regarded as one of the finest examples of religious architecture in South America. One of its towers houses the remains of Chile's first cardinal. The cathedral's wooden interior doors were carved around 1765. Inside, you'll find a richly decorated altar and the Museum of Sacred Art, with the massive adorned naves adding to its inspiring atmosphere. Number 3. La Moneda La Moneda, also called the Coin Palace, due to its history as a mint, is where the President of Chile has his offices. Several other key government officials also work in this neoclassical structure, which occupies an entire block in downtown Santiago. The building ceased to function as a mint in 1828 and became the Chilean seat of government in 1845. It was bombed during the 1973 coup that brought Pinochet to power, but has since been restored. Every two days, a changing of the guard ceremony takes place, with the schedule varying by month. Number 2. Visit a winery. Since Chile is famous for its exceptional white, red, and rosé wines, no visit to Santiago is complete without exploring at least one or two of its renowned wineries. The fertile plains to the west of the capital offer fantastic tours and tastings at numerous estates and vineyards, where you can enjoy both remarkable scenery and nature. Number 1. Parque Bicentenario a short distance north of the barrio is the remarkable Parque Bicentenario, located along the Mapocho River in the upscale and trendy district of Vitacura. Opened in 2007 to mark Chile's bicentennial, the park features pristine paths and lush green areas where you can enjoy stunning views of the city's skyline and the distant snow-capped mountains. The park boasts meticulously landscaped grounds with a large artificial lagoon and extensive boardwalks along the river. Visitors can explore the park, watch for swans, flamingos, and other waterfowl, relax on the lawns, or bike along the peaceful trails. In addition to a few small kiosks, the renowned Mestizo restaurant at the northern end of the park offers delicious Chilean snacks, dishes, and drinks. The expansive park also hosts a variety of film festivals and cultural events throughout the year.